please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video. Also click on that notification bell. Thank you. Let's get into our main topic and that is Linux. We will talk about what exactly Linux is in this video. Now I'm sure you probably know Linux. Some of you already have heard of Linux. Some of you already know how it works. But all I'm asking you is that you stick around with me for a few minutes and you will have a very good understanding of what Linux is. Linux is an open source operating system that manages your computer hardware resources and applications. Okay, now the question is, what is open source? Open source basically means that the language or the code that is used to write and build that Linux software, that code is open to public. Anyone can go and view that code. That's why it's open source and it could be modified. So the second question is, what are computer hardware resources? Well, computer hardware resources like CPU, memory, disk space, network. Now, if you don't know any of these or some of these resources, then I would recommend that you take my IT fundamental course. And that course will teach you everything you need to know about IT basic concepts. Okay, so Linux is an operating system just like Windows or Mac operating system. Okay, if it is just like Windows or Mac, then the question is, why don't you hear much about Linux? Great question. Well, it's because it's a behind the scene use. Linux is heavily used in an environment that typically consumers don't use or see directly. For example, it is used mainly on servers, on embedded systems, on supercomputers. Also, it is mostly used in enterprise or corporate level environment. So if you have never worked in corporate level or don't have an exposure to the IT environment, then you don't know what Linux is. Okay, I just mentioned that operating system Linux is just like Windows operating system. Then why can't we just use Windows? All right, if that's what you're thinking, again, great question. Let me explain you why. Windows is slower than Linux because of GUI. Now, what is GUI? GUI is graphical interface, sorry, graphical user interface, which means that every time you start up your Windows computer, you will see everything so easy, like in windowing environment, you could drag, drop, move your mouse, and do a lot of things, and it becomes so much easier to manage that operating system. Now, in Linux, you don't see that GUI things. In corporate world especially, there are GUI uh, type of uh, Linux systems, but most of the times people don't use GUI in Linux. So not having that GUI, which takes a lot of processing power, that gives an advantage to Linux over Windows. Then another reason is Windows is not open source. Yes, because you don't see the code, you cannot modify the code, you cannot make it work the way you want it to work based on your applications. That's why corporate environment don't really use much or prefer Linux over Windows. And the last one is Linux provide higher level security than Windows. Yes, Linux has a lot of built-in features that has a very extensive security level built-in features than Windows. So that's about Linux. What is Linux? Why do we use Linux? What's the whole story about Linux? So I hope you have a lot more information now. Let's go to our next video. If you want to learn more about Linux, check out my best-selling course on Linux at udemy.com or you could go straight to my website utclsolutions.com and you will find the exact same course there.